In this video, we'll cover downloading and logging in to the SafeZone app for the first time. If your organisation has invited you to join SafeZone, you should have received an email like this. You'll either have been provided with a temporary password to complete your registration, or you'll have been asked to use your existing organisation credentials. Either way, the first step is to download the SafeZone app from either Google Play or the Apple App Store. There may be other apps with a similar name. Please make sure that the app creator is Critical Arc. When you open the app for the first time, you'll be asked to enter your email address. Please ensure that you use your organisation email address and be careful to check that you have not mistyped the email address at this stage or else registration will not work. If you are provided with a temporary password in the Save Cert invitation email, you will then be prompted to enter this here. If your organisation has opted for users to access SafeZone with their existing organisation credentials, you'll be taken straight to your institution's login page, where you'll need to enter your credentials. You'll then come to this page to complete your registration. Please ensure that you complete all the required fields on this page. If you access this screen with a temporary password, you'll need to create a new one here. If you're using your organisation credentials to access the app, you won't need to create a password. Depending on your organisation, there may also be additional fields such as personal evacuation plan information, ID number and medical conditions. Bear in mind that you will not be able to complete registration without a valid mobile phone number. This is vital as it means that any responders will be able to contact you if necessary. You have the option of adding a photo, which could be useful to help responders identify you in case of an emergency. Don't worry, you can add this later in your profile settings if you haven't got a flattering one to hand at this stage. Once you've completed this form, press sign up and you'll be taken to the end user license agreement, which you'll need to accept in order to complete registration. If your institution has set up optional notification groups, you can choose these here although you don't need to subscribe to any of these in order to use the app. You will then be taken to the main screen of the app. You may be prompted to accept certain permissions at this stage. There is a separate video covering these, but essentially you should accept all in order for the app to work correctly. If you log out at any time, you will be able to log in again by simply typing your email address and then entering the new password you created during the registration process or you'll be redirected to your institution's login page to authenticate your access to SafeZone. 